Cara, let's start with Paul Burrell, who worked with Princess Diana for a decade. He has claimed that Harry has, and I quote here, finally woken up to the truth about his wife, Meghan Markle, and is only staying the marriage for the sake of the children. What do you make of these rather incredible claims from, from a man who was very close to, to Princess Diana and her sons for a period? Uh, hi, Rita. I'm quite apprehensive to trust anything Paul Burrell says just because um, he seems to pop up every now and then uh, claiming something else. But I do believe him this time uh, because I, I think that Harry would be idiotic not to have woken up now to the fact that he's been brainwashed. I mean, um, it's been three years. He has lost not only his entire family, his career, any career prospects, any real career prospects mm. he would have had. Um, and we know that since the start of January, there's been a kind of breakdown of the relationship. Um, we saw this firstly when he went on tour for his memoir stay when Megan wasn't around and kind of distanced herself from the whole project. So I think he is right to a degree now that Harry's waking up, but I do think he's wrong uh, when he claims that the UK will, the British people will welcome him back with open arms and mm. not only the British people, but the King and the Prince of Wales. Uh, I mean, I don't know about you, but I certainly wouldn't be welcoming anybody back with open arms after they've been on a three-year crusade to try and damage the very thing that <laughs> they're trying to uphold, you know? Absolutely. Well, that's a really interesting argument there because, yeah, he, he says that the British people will, will just... Uh, love him again because he was along with the queen the most popular royal for the longest period and now he's among the least popular down there with prince andrew and his wife megan but i wonder cara whether he's right there because so much of the blame of what's happened so much of the blame for harry's own conduct is put on megan so i wonder if there is a breakup and he comes home all of that will be put on Meghan and Harry will be seen as some sort of a victim, even though, you know, he's a grown man, he's about 40 years old. I think this would have been true maybe less than a year ago to a year ago. Um, I think a lot more people had sympathy at the start where it kind of looked like this woman, this very intelligent, charismatic woman kind of shipped him away from his family and his life. And But since then what we've seen unfold is you, you i mean you like you just said he's a grown man you have to put some blame on on the 40 year old guy himself uh he, megan wasn't the one mm. signing the doc the netflix documentaries on her own she wasn't the only one filming she she didn't write the memoir you know i mean harry has to take some kind of responsibility and i would say that the most damning things probably came out in spare where he not only trash talks his brother and father, but also Queen Camilla, who's pretty popular with the British public now. So, yeah, I think um, Harry's made his bed and Harry will lie in it.